It is argued that increasingly our constitution and many other democratic constitutions have created a fourth arm of government, and that is the independent offices, other than the judiciary, because they are not the executive, they are not in the judiciary, they are not in the legislature, yet they are constitutional it's a form, uh, formations which help our democracy to move forward. Two of these arms of government are devolved, the executive and legislature. All these arms of government are arms of one government of the Republic of Kenya. The more reason, Your Excellency Sir, that on an occasion like this one, other arms of government come to witness and also to support the executive because we are all arms of one government of the Republic of Kenya. Going forward, under your leadership, Your Excellency, we hope we'll be able to build greater harmony and coherence among the arms of government and the two levels of government because all of us, from yourself and everybody else exercising authority in this country of whatever nature, does so on behalf of the people of Kenya and the government is one but with various arms and various levels as I have outlined. Therefore, Your Excellency, it is a great occasion for us today, even as we look at the performance contracts of those of us who are in the executive, as we make sure that we enhance our accountability to the people of Kenya as you lead us. The second and last remark I want to make, Your Excellency, sir, is I've been reflecting on, uh, on a day like this one, what this means to us who are here. It means that we are expected in the context in which we, have, we exercise our mandates to ensure that whatever commitments we make, we fulfill them because accountability demands transparency, report back, and evaluation. And Your Excellency, it is my very humble view that in the context of a very vibrant democracy that Kenya is, going forward, we have to work harder, faster, more efficiently if we have to keep pace with the very vibrant democracy that our country has become. Your Excellency, I'm happy to be part of this, and I promise you from where I sit to support you and to work with all the other colleagues as you lead us to deliver a better Kenya, a more inclusive Kenya, a Kenya that is sensitive to the needs of its people, and a government that is sensitive and response to the needs and aspirations of the people of Kenya. Permit me, Your Excellency, to request all my colleagues to be upstanding as I welcome you to address us. Mr. President, you're welcome, and thank you very much for this occasion. Thank you very much, Mr. Deputy President. Let's take our seats. <clears throat> Let me first uh, take this opportunity to welcome all of you present here, uh, members of the executive, members of the legislature, members of independent um, commissions, uh, our members of the diplomatic corps, and friends. This function is not just a part of the traditions and practices of our public service tech sector. It has its foundations 
in the Constitution, which besides national values and principles of governance, has entire chapters devoted to the public service as well as leadership and integrity. These provisions, alongside other laws enacted under them, when seeking our and receiving public services, define the expectations and entitlement of citizens. For us, they also set the standard we must uphold at all times in our performance individually and also collectively. It is important for us to understand that in entering the public service, we are under an explicit and implied binding contract with the people of Kenya to perform the tasks and duties entrusted to us and manage resources under our stewardship to a specific minimum standard set both by the law and by the Constitution. It is therefore always a good strategy to establish the document and clear terms and conditions to which we and the citizens of Kenya can make reference in evaluating whether we are doing our jobs as is required of us and providing meaningful value to the people of Kenya. In electing their government, the people express specific expectations and entrust us to deliver fully and also to deliver on time. I am committed to honoring that trust fully. And to do so, I rely on you to equally do your part as set out in your terms of appointment and as demanded by the Constitution, the law of Kenya, and the electorate. Our performance contract with citizens was formalized upon the inauguration of this administration in our commitment under the bottom-up economic transformation agenda for Kenya. This plan embodies our commitment to addressing critical priorities, including reducing the cost of living, managing inflation, taking all steps to create jobs, eradicate hunger, enhancing food production and productivity in general, and expanding the tax base and improving our foreign exchange balances. 